President Donald Trump complains that America's trade with the rest of the world is out of balance. He's right. For decades, the U.S. has consistently run trade deficits with the rest of the world, and especially with China, Japan, and Germany. So what exactly are trade deficits? You get them when you sell less stuff to foreign countries than you buy from them. When the opposite happens, when you sell more abroad than you buy, you get a trade surplus. The U.S. routinely had trade surpluses with the rest of the world until the 1970s. That's when Japan, China, and other Asian tigers emerged as economic powerhouses. Critics say America loses jobs when it buys more than it sells abroad. One Washington think tank says the trade gap with China killed 3.4 million American jobs from 2001 to 2015 and a trade deficit drags down the economy. In 2015, for example, the trade deficit cut American economic growth by more than one-fifth. But trade deficits aren't all bad. People buy foreign goods because they're cheaper or better. Think Belgian chocolates, German luxury cars, and inexpensive electronics from China. And it's not clear what you can do about them. If you try to limit foreign products by taxing them, other countries are likely to retaliate by taxing what you try to sell them. Then that can drive up prices and limit choices for Americans.